Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, which is all about income-oriented investing, how to generate high passive income from a diversified portfolio of high yield funds. And today we're gonna review a brand new ETF from one of my favorite covered call ETF fund managers in Canada, Harvest Portfolios Group. And of course, we're gonna take a look at the Harvest ESG Equity Income Index ETF. Stock symbol is HESG. Just remember everyone, for my American viewers, this is a TSX listed fund. So it's a ETF on the Canadian stock market not on the american stock market if you look up hesg on the u.s stock market you're going to get something completely different so we are talking about the harvest one here it's a brand new covered call etf in canada and you know that my channel's bread and butter and my strategy's bread and butter is covered call so if there's a new covered call etf i will review it this one is no different so let's check out this ETF in detail. We're gonna check out the management fee, what it holds, uh, the yield, uh, et cetera, et cetera. We'll take a, a look at it in detail. Let's find out what it's all about right now. All right, so as usual, we go on the fund's website to know the information of what this ETF is all about. So here it is, HESG monthly cash flow from an ESG ETF. So what is ESG? Well, it stands for environmental, social, and governments. So these are basically, what this means is that there's, there are companies that uh, you know are not bad for the environment. Uh, so things like oil companies, fossil fuels, alcohol, gambling, things like weapons, things like that are, are not, would definitely not be, or companies that have to do with those sectors are definitely not going to be in this ETF. And of course, we'll take a look at the holdings all together in a second here. So if you click on ETF facts, you will get this sheet here. So there is no distribution declared yet. This is a brand new ETF. The first one is going to be declared at the end of this month, the end of October. Um, but as you could see here, the management fee is 0.65, very in line with what covered call ETFs usually charge. So very, very good. There's going to be 30 stocks in here, which I like quite a, quite a lot. Um, usually the harvest ones typically have 20, although their new Canadian one, HLIF, has 30. And I applaud that and I love the fact that this one has 30. So we're going to check them out in a second here. So this is really, you know, they have their own ESG metric here. And, um, you know, it, it, like I said before, they, they, they score them on, you know, norms, weapons, sectors. So you could expect pretty much no oil and gas companies, no companies that have to do with gambling, things like that. So these are going to be... Uh, blue chip companies that uh, rank high on ESG scores and so what we'll do is let's check out right now the companies inside so um, the target yield like I said the first distribution is set at 0 0.0583 per share per month same one as HHL target yields are going to be about 7% that's what's pretty much uh, what the yield is pretty much now on the nav here and the first distribution is going to be uh, declared at the end uh, of this month. So 30 companies, let's check out the 30 companies together. Because remember, guys, when you're investing in an ETF, the most important thing is always to look at the companies you're investing in. So as usual, this is a covered call ETF from Harvest. So we're going to expect the same covered call strategy, right up to 33 percent and a dynamic a dynamic strategy so once again here 0.65 percent management fee let's check out the the port the uh, the companies together here so if you just click on portfolio this is always my favorite part of what what to check out so you see that the, the sector mix here so a lot of technology healthcare com uh, consumer staple companies also some telecom a little bit of financials and if you noticed uh, there's no energy there's no utilities here at all which is not surprising since this is an ESG ETF. So let's maximize the holdings here. We'll take out, we'll take a look at the holdings all together and sort it by sector. And you will pretty much recognize all of the companies in this ETF. So this is definitely a very blue chip uh, US focused uh, ETF. So this is you know fairly conservative investing here, guys. So Let's go through the companies real quick. Communication services, you have Walt Disney, Verizon, Meta, which is the parent company of Facebook, Comcast, you know, NBC. So that's communication services. These are basically telecom uh, or communication companies. Home Depot is the only consumer discretionary. So Home Depot is, you know, a pretty solid, solid blue chip company found in many uh, U.S. core portfolios. And for consumer staples, you have Walmart, you have Pepsi, you have Coca-Cola, you have Proct Procter & Gamble. So all the, you know, really, really top, top companies. 
I know somebody had messaged me, why do you think only Pepsi is in the Harvest brand ETF and not Coca-Cola? Well, if ever you want both, now you have this one here, which both has Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Procter & Gamble, we all know what that is, right? They make a million different products um, like Gillette, uh, toothpaste and et cetera, et cetera. So consumer staples, this is, this is consumer, uh, you know, this is core consumer. It's not consumer discretionary, it's consumer staples. Everyone needs their consumer staples. In financials, we only have two companies and two giant banks in the US side, JP Morgan and Chase, which is actually the biggest one. And then there's Bank of America. A lot of healthcare. I really love the defensive nature of the, of the healthcare uh, sector. So a lot of companies that are in uh, Harvest HHL uh, cover call ETF, which is their biggest and most popular one, over a billion dollars AUM. So you have L. Lilly, Merck, AbbVie, Johnson and Johnson, United Health Group, Abbott Laboratories, Pfizer, Thermo Fisher. So a good balance of not only pharmaceuticals, um, but also you know insurance company and medical equipment like Abbott as well. So really nice mix of healthcare. This is definitely a primary sector, right? Twenty eight percent of healthcare. And then the biggest chunk is in information technology. So you might think, you know, that's a lot to put in technology, 32%. But if you actually look at the companies, it's not necessarily straightforward tech and software companies like Microsoft or Adobe, although they are in there, but it's also equipment companies and chip semiconductor chip manufacturers which is you know i would actually put them under uh, staples actually so these are very very critical companies so let's go through them one by one you have cisco which is network network stuff network equipment accenture plc absolutely huge this is really uh, it services of course you have apple and i really love the fact that they have both mastercard and visa so these actually do fall under information technology here so you have MasterCard and Visa. I mean, I can't think of any better companies to hold than MasterCard and Visa. Everyone uses it, right? Broadcom, another network equipment, a company kind of like Cisco. And of course you have Microsoft as well with Apple, Microsoft. You got to see that in every uh, ETF, right? Salesforce, and here's the, the chip makers, Intel and Nvidia. So very, very big and important chip makers as well as Adobe. Uh, software company so that it that's it in a nutshell as you notice there's pretty much no energy no utilities since this is you know it's an ESG oriented ETF so I would say this ETF in terms of holdings I really really like the sector mix I like the fact that there's no energy there's a lot of healthcare which is defensive and I don't mind having such a big uh, portion in technology because there's a lot of stuff like Microsoft, uh, sorry, uh, I mean, I meant to say MasterCard, Visa, uh, that's included in here under the uh, information technology umbrella, as well as the chip maker. So really, really nice mix, guys. This can be considered easily a core US blue chip uh, ETF. So uh, yeah, I, I can't think of anything bad to say about this ETF. Uh, really, really cool. It's, um, you know, I did speak to Michael about this um, and for now there's no plans to actually put it in their all-in-one covered call ETF, HDIF, but never say never, right? Uh, he said for now. And um, another comment I'll probably get is that this ETF is very, very similar to an existing one called the Harvest Brand Leaders. And you would be right, it has a lot of the same companies as this one here, but one clear advantage I see that the ESG one has over this one, even though they have a lot of the same companies. If you go to portfolio real quick, we could see that. So you have a lot, a lot of the same companies. While Disney is there, Pepsi is here, Procter & Gamble is here. Let's expand it. JP Morgan is here. A lot of the healthcare ones are there as well. United Group, Johnson & Johnson, Apple, Accenture, Intel, Visa. So you know it does overlap a lot with this uh, great ETF HBF, which is their brands, but a clear advantage that the ESG one has, in my opinion, is the sheer number of holdings. So the brand ones has 20, but the ESG one has 30, has 30, including Coca-Cola and Pepsi. So really cool ETF here, guys, a really nice complement to either HBF, if you have it, the brands one, or um, if you have HDIF like me. A nice compliment to it. So all in all, a really cool uh, ETF. Uh, if you're looking for ESG, if you're looking for monthly income, HESG should definitely be considered.
Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, that like button, and make sure you're subscribed not to miss out on my future content. Of course, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified for any new content that comes out. Also, make sure to visit our website, passiveincomeinvesting.ca. That's where you could purchase my digital product, the Ultimate DIY Investing Package, which is on version four right now. It comes with lifetime updates, so you only have to buy it once, which is awesome. So this is a companion tool it's a reference tool that will help you build your own portfolio according to your needs and goals and it covers both the Canadian and American and US stock markets so make sure to check it out I have a video explaining from A to Z exactly what the product is I showcase it so there's no surprises if you're interested make sure to check out that video also right there on my website on the home page I do offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me so this is a one hour zoom call with yours truly for a, you know in case you need personalized help i'll answer all your questions and i'll help you best i can just remember i'm not a licensed financial planner or financial advisor this, these are just going to be a uh, friendly uh, conversation right it's just going to be my opinions but if ever you're looking for that personalized touch that personalized help you could book a one-on-one -on -one with me make sure to check out the message on top of that calendar uh, that will give you a status of my bookings uh, for that month also, we do have a Facebook group, great Facebook group, over 12,000 members. So make sure to join our community. The group is called Passive Income Investing, a nice Facebook group where everyone is sharing their thoughts and opinions and sharing their experiences. So it's a really nice group. We make sure to stay on top of the scam and the spams and we delete those right away. So make sure to join our Facebook group. If ever you want something more personalized with us, you could uh, follow us on Instagram. That's where we post more personal things on our adventures here in Panama. So follow us on Instagram if you want and how do i always leave you continue to stay safe continue to stay healthy and of course stay passive see you next time